So this is the base. That's pretty much gonna have everything we want in uh, intoxicated vanilla. This is this is how you start off. So you'll be coming into what? Sure, no one will really get past there. Some shotgun traps facing at the sky if anybody tries to peek from above. Shotgun here, in case anybody throws grenades and destroys these, you can at least open this door without having any issues. We get inside the base, research table, air bench, garage door. From this garage door, got some three furnaces right here in the corner. Down or it goes up. So I'll work our way to the top first. Drop the army so you know. As you can see, the jump up here, if you come from the bottom, or even if this door is closed and you open this door, there's a shotgun trap here. Two turrets over here. And these four the exit. So there's an exit passage over here, which leads to other side of the building with two shotgun traps. This doorway over here leads through the bottom over there. You can see there's a stairway and some windows. These are these windows here so I can if anybody's trying to get up I can protect this. A nice little point to ledge to sit on if you need to See what's happening outside the front door. Because if you keep going further down, nope. You'll see there is a bit of a blockage here. That's something I haven't discovered. Anyways, it exits down there. Let's go around. Cross the cross the cross the cross. Towards the turrets, we'll have some sort of power generator or turbine, solar panels, whatever it is, battery. It's a uh, workbench again, level 3. So, going to the drop down now. If we go into this drop down area, got your sleeping bag with a, the other view which we just saw earlier. Shows you out towards here so you can see what's happening. So, in the drop down, if you drop down here, you have your TC with 4300 metal frags and 60 hard quad, and a total of 4 days and 21 hours. So, you can basically call it nope. 5 days of upkeep nope. on intoxicated. Nope. The, nope. Now, this jump up is a bit of a. Nope. Nope. A bit of annoyance. Nope. At the moment. Nope. Nope. Seriously. Yeah. All minor issues. And going back out again. I'll just go show you the door at the bottom. So, as you can see, this is the door at the bottom. Come to, it's got an airlock, no shotgun traps because it's too high to really do anything, so it's pointless actually. So we leave that out. So, yeah, and then you come through here, and this is that uh, walkway. Needs, needs a bit of tweaking, as you can tell. I can't really fit through. These are all minor issues, except for if you've already built the base and the actual intoxicated vanilla, then you might have an issue. <laughs> well, not might, but you will have a big issue. So there's a lot of confusion to this base, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's livable. 
It's doable. Okay. Is it something I really want to do? Not really. Is it something I should do? I don't know. The question... That we should be asking ourselves. Is this really the design for us? An intoxicated vanilla? Or do we go with something like this? Your standard type of build. However, with these builds, it is simple to know that you just have to pretty much go through the whole bottom or the middle of the base, the core, and that's where you go to hit the loot. Over here, it's not exactly easy to say where to begin, so. This could be the base, or well, this could not be. I don't know. Maybe I should start off an intoxicated now and uh, see where this goes.